So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the pre-match press conference for the second match day of the AFC Champions League 2022, which the team will be playing. The, uh, welcome the Melbourne C uh, City FC, and then the team will be playing against with the United City FC. So I'm here today with the coach, with the head coach, uh, Mr. Patrick Kisnovo, and also the team player, Mr. Jamie McCarn. So welcome guys. Thank you. So uh, let's get started. So I have a question for the head coach. After getting a draw with the host, what did you tell your team coming for the second match? Yeah, the preparation is different. The, obviously the, uh, yeah, the opponents are different. It was just, you know, we need to build on our performance. Um, yeah, and, and basically that was it, because I thought our performance was good, we shaped our character. Um, and we need to build on the performance from last game and bring it into tomorrow's game. Thank you for your answer. So, the second question is going to be for the team player. So, uh, Mr. McCarns. As you got the taste of the first game with the host or your new team get the taste of it, could you tell us what is the level of confidence you have and your team have in this tournament? Confidence is very high. Um, you know, it's a great result for us to come here at a great stadium, which is Bangkok's home ground. Um, for us, we take uh, huge confidence. We've got a very good away record back in Australia. So for us, uh, when our back's against the wall, we show some very good character and uh, we'll continue to do that in the next five games, and uh, the spirit of the boys is, is very good. Thank you, thank you, that's great. So, right now, we're going to turn the question to the media participant. So, the first question goes to you. Morning. Um, the planet tomorrow, uh, as you know, hasn't played much in the last couple of years. I think it's four cup matches in the last uh, 10 months since they played last year. Has that made them difficult to prepare for, difficult to analyze, um, or? Is that sort of not really the focus anyway? It's all about what you do. Yeah, you're basically right. Yeah. Look, yeah, the focus on us and how we prepare and how we go about things. Um, yeah, you need to respect the opposition. Uh, yeah, they're still a good team, um, but for us, it's you know um, what we do and you know how we go about tomorrow's game performance. Yeah. We spoke about the conditions. So we spoke about the conditions after the last match. Now it affects how you go about the match, considering you've got. I think it's six in 16 days. Have you sort of worked out how you're going to rotate players and when and how that's going to work? And, or is it just going to be something that you sort of come to as it happens? Uh, I think it's a bit of both. You know, I think we need to be flexible. I think we need to adapt. Um, you know, every game is different. Um, so, look, we have to go day by day because, as you know, uh, things change. Um, and look, towards the end, we need to look on the present, which is Today, today's training and you know, bring it into tomorrow's game. Just, I guess on the same note, some of the players that were missing in the first match, are you confident, I think like Metcalf was a COVID one, so you should be able to get him back, but the injury, so that, is, it, is there any chance that you get players back? Uh, no, we won't, we, won't, um, we won't have Aiden or Florent back at all. So um, we have Connor back after, hopefully very soon. Yeah. Um, but the other two, uh, plays, you won't have that. Yeah. And I might ask you, Jamie, um, you've played in this competition before with Brisbane, but it's been a while. Is it, how does it feel to be back? Is it something that you've sort of missed and wanted to be a part of in that time since? Yeah, most definitely. Um, as a player, you want to be amongst the best, the best teams. And um, when I joined this football club uh, just over three years ago, that was one of the aims, not only for myself, but from the club. And uh, we're here now. Um, it's great to, to be a part of it. We've earned it. Um, but also, we, we're not naive to know that, that these, these teams are very good. They're the best in Asia. Um, Bangkok was the best team in Thailand. Um, and, you know, United City will be the best team in Philippines. So we know what we're up against, but uh, we're, we're a side that believes in ourselves. We've got the, the backing from the coaching staff. And uh, as a playing group, uh, we're, we're in a good space. Uh, Friday's match was not really a match of too many clear-cut chances, but you did have that sort of in behind chance in the last four, few seconds. Um, and when that sort of happens, do you dwell on that at all or is it just sort of left in the past and you look ahead to the, to the next game straight away? Yeah, I mean, as a striker, you always want to have chances, and um, it happened to be that uh, the 91st minute was, was my first sort of clear-cut chance, and, um, you know, fair play to the goalkeeper. He came out so quickly at me that I uh, didn't have too much time to react, but 
I didn't dwell on it because I was actually so positive of the result. Um, and there's no point in, uh, in dwelling over a, a result which was actually a positive. You know, a 1-1 draw against a team in the home stadium. Uh, we can take huge positives from that. And so um, coming into tomorrow's game, uh, I'm feeling confident as ever, um, scoring goals, uh, you know, creating chances. And, and it's important to have guys around me who are scoring goals too. Andy scored a fantastic goal. You know, Lecky was unbelievable. Uh, Marco and alongside me. So um, we're all chipping in, um, in, in our own ways, on and off the ball. And uh, I'm just very proud to, to be a part of this team. I'll just go to you again. Um, you had that great run of form before the derby against Melbourne Victory. And then obviously, you know, 3-0 defeat. Didn't create much in that game. But then to come and have a good performance in the first game of the year, how pleasing was it that, you know, you sort of got back on the wall so quickly after that derby defeat? Yeah, that's football. Uh, you know, you Sometimes you get games like that, you know, everyone, everyone, um, you know, everyone uh, has, you know, but we just got to move on, and that's what we did. Um, so again, it was, it was pleasing to, sh to show or to see the attitude and application um, by the players. You know, the, the players are fantastic. Um, they show great character. They work hard every day, um, and to get a reaction like we did was fantastic. So you now we're going to build on that. Um, you know, focus on training today, and then obviously you know, try and bring that to us tomorrow. Okay, so now we're going to turn the question to the local media. Uh, are there any questions from the local media? Thanks. Um, good morning, coach. Good morning. Uh, it's the, the the next game you're going to be playing the second kickoff. Does that make it easier for you to to cope with the heat? No, we have summers like this in Australia, you know, so, and we play during the summer, so that the heat is, is normal for us. Um, the time's different, but in the day, it's a 90-minute football game, so, yeah, that's what we're about. Next question, please. That will be the last question. That's us, one more. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, in the first match, towards the end, Lecky looked like he was sort of holding his leg a little bit. Is he good to go for tomorrow's match? Yeah, we'll, we need to see. You know, again, we take it day by day. That's what I said. We can't really think too much ahead. Um, he put up okay. Um, so we'll see how we go to training today, and again, I'll make my decision um, yeah, tomorrow regarding the squad. Okay guys, so now we come to an end for the pre-match press conference on the second match day. So thank you coach and the players. Thank you for coming and good luck for your thank second you. match. Cheers, thank you.